I'm absolutely blown away by this. I mean, watch, you just take your cursor and you drag it over and now it's on the iPad. Like what? And I can open up any of these files and there it is. It's just, I mean, what? Universal Control is finally here. You remember Universal Control? You remember that thing that Apple talked about like six months ago and then just kind of ghosted us with it and said, yeah, you'll get it sometime. Well, it's here in macOS 12.3 and iPadOS 15.4 betas. They were just released today. So we're gonna go hands-on with this new Universal Control feature. And for those of you who understandably need a refresher, since again, it's been quite a bit since WWDC 2021, Universal Control allows one device's keyboard and mouse to control another's seamlessly. So let me just show you how incredible this is. So for example, this MacBook Pro right here, I can take my magic trackpad and drag my cursor all the way from my Mac to my iPad Pro and it just magically moves from one screen to the other. There's no apps or no settings that I need to go and turn on. They're already on, they already work, they're already connected. It just works seamlessly. So now I can use my MacBook Pro's keyboard on my iPad and just use that specific device to control my iPad and then this works the other way around too. So I can take my iPad Pro's magic keyboard and trackpad combo case that I have here and drag that cursor to my Mac and boom, it just works over there as well. Now there are a few limitations right now when it comes to iPad Pro to Mac OS, at least one that I've noticed that's pretty important. Um, and that's just the trackpad gestures from uh, for Mac OS, they don't seem to work using the iPad Pro's uh, Magic Keyboard. So I can't swipe between apps, I can't do the three finger swipe up for mission control, at least not right now. It is worth mentioning again, these features are still in beta, so who knows what the proper release will look like. The good news is iPad OS gestures using the MacBook's trackpad, those work just fine. There's no problems there whatsoever. I also tried dragging a bunch of random things like text and files and links and whatever, from one device, specifically macOS to iPad. And so if you do that, it actually needs to go directly into an app that supports that file. So you can't just take this screenshot and put it on the home screen. That's not how that works on iPad OS, so it makes sense. So if I take this image and I bring it into the Notes app, then yeah, that app supports this image and it works just fine. And if you wanna put it into the Files app, you can do that too. Now, on the other side here, if I take the iPad and drag a file or folder from the iPad to the MacBook Pro, that actually works just fine. You can place it on your desktop because that's how Mac OS works. So it makes sense that this is how it works when you're using universal control. And when I dragged a folder over or a file over, it seemed to transfer at pretty fast speeds too. Um, so that's another thing that I'm just kind of blown away by. Uh, and I'm gonna say that again, I'm absolutely blown away by how incredibly quick and seamless this feature really is. I'm not sure why, I kinda didn't doubt that it wasn't going to work, but the more they kept pushing this off, and the more you kinda forget that it's a thing, you just kinda think it might be too good to be true, but I'm not disappointed at all. As of right now, I haven't run into really any huge issues, but it is worth mentioning that when I first installed this, um, it did not work, and it might not work for you. Some people it did, for me it did not. I had to restart my iPad Pro, restart my MacBook Pro, and then everything worked fine. And then there was one time where it just kind of stopped working, and I went up to the Mac OS menu bar here, I clicked on the display icon, and I went down to the connection between the iPad and the MacBook, I just unchecked that, and then reconnected it, and everything was fine, I didn't have to restart it. Hopefully that doesn't really happen all too often, it's been a short amount of time, uh, but in that short amount of time, that was really the only other issue, aside from its initial, uh, you know, ability to get it to work, but after that, everything works totally fine. You can also see more settings for this on Mac OS as well as iPad OS, but you really shouldn't need to mess with it. Again, it just works, it's already on, and it works so well. Of course, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I know I've been hyping it up, so if you've been using it at all, please let me know in those comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.